today for you all I'm going to be filming my March favorites and that is completely crazy, that's completely insane. I cannot believe I am filming my March favorites, it is just cray cray to me. Anyway, I cannot believe March is already over, well almost over, it's not technically over the day I'm filming this, but I cannot believe it is almost over. This month and this year in general have just flown by, but I, even though I really loved March and it was a really great month, I'm completely totally excited for April because I have a really exciting month coming up in April. I have my spring break and my senior your trip and it's just going to be a really fun month for me and for my school. But anyway, today I'm going to be doing my March favorites and I have a fun little bag of goodies right here filled with all of my March favorites. So let's go ahead and get started and see what's in this little bag. So my first favorite this month has been my Urban Decay Primer Potion. This stuff is so amazing, I cannot begin to tell you guys my love for the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So I got the Naked Palette for Christmas this year, and with the normal Naked Palette, you get a mini sample size Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I always used to use the NYX Primer Potion, and I always thought that that was an amazing primer, and I thought it was great, but I know everyone on YouTube raves about the Urban Decay Primer Potion, but I just never picked it up, it's kind of expensive, and I was like, I already have a primer. Guys, I was wrong. The Urban Decay Primer Potion is so amazing. I use this every single day, religiously every morning I use this because I apply my concealer the way I apply it I apply it in this corner and then down under my eyes so when I apply it here there's like a big line that doesn't blend out correctly like that's hard to explain like I'm gonna do a video probably of how to get rid of and conceal under eye circles so I'll probably show you how I do that in there but it I put it up here so then there's like a line where my concealer still is so I take a little bit of this on my ring finger and I put it all over my lid and it just makes my eyelid look so 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 nice I can't even I don't know it just makes my eyelid look so nice it blends out all of the concealer that's still left over and it just gives my eyelid a really even finish it takes out any sight of veins on my lid and it just makes my lid look really nice and one skin toed so I have been loving the Urban Decay Primer Potion this month it is a staple for me in my everyday makeup bag and it has been great the next product I have been loving this month has been a blush, and this is the NYX Rouge Cream Blush, and this is in the color O2 Natural. This has to be one of my favorite blushes ever, and I use it a lot, but I just, I guess I forgot how much I really do love it. So this is what it looks like. You're never going to see it on my camera, but it has a ton of little stippling marks in it, and it has some brush hairs on it right now. And I am just obsessed with cream blushes. I definitely want to get more of the NYX ones because they are freaking amazing. The pigmentation in these little babies is fabulous. And for spring, I love having that dewy, like fresh face spring look and this definitely helps you achieve this. It just makes your skin look so nice and glowy and this stays on really well too. Um, I used to set it with a powder blush but now I just set it with my Urban Decay D Slick powder that I put on every day. I just put it over the blush and it just it gives you such a nice little rosy glow and it really just takes me from dead in the morning with no blush to looking really nice and glowy and awake and fresh. And I just love this blush. I can't wait to purchase more of them. It's just such a nice color and it's definitely going to move me into the spring and the summer. It's definitely going to be a blush I use all the time and I have been loving this this month. The next product that I have been loving this month is something that is named completely perfectly and it is the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer in Fair. So that is what that looks like, and this is just a little tube of it. This might be the full size, but um, this is enough for almost a year. This stuff is the most amazing concealer in the whole entire world. Guys, I cannot begin to explain my love for this concealer. So the whole reason I got this concealer is because eh, two years ago, I want to say, I found Michelle Fan here on YouTube, and she is amazing. She is like a goddess of YouTube videos. She is the ultimate beauty guru in my mind. She is amazing. She is so talented and I just, I could watch all of her videos a million times and I probably have. But in her, I think it was in her how to transform like a Barbie video or something. It was a Halloween video. She used this concealer and she used it to cover her under eye circles and OMG, they were completely gone. And this concealer made her look so flawless that I needed to get my hands on it. So me and my sister picked it up and we are completely obsessed with it and I actually kind of forgot about it for about a year. I hadn't picked it up. I hadn't even used it. It was just in my makeup bag. And then this month, around the middle of this month, I picked it out again and it has completely taken away my under eye circles. It really blends on so creamy and it just doesn't cake and it doesn't crackle under there and it just really gets rid of your under eye circles. It is quite aptly named because it is amazing and it's called Amazing Cosmetics. And I just love this concealer. I couldn't imagine my normal makeup routine without it because I would just be having these nasty under eye circles. So this really has been covering them up nicely and I just love it. I definitely think this will be a staple product for the rest of my life and I've been loving it, loving it, loving it. 
Next product I have been loving this month is a skincare product, and I have been completely obsessed with the Xeno Hotspot this month. So about two months back, I think I did a review on this little baby, and this thing is amazing. I love the Xeno Hotspot. So this month has been kind of a stressful month. I was really stressed in school. Whenever the weather gets goes from really cold to really warm, which it did where I live, um, my skin goes kind of crazy, and I just was suffering from quite a few breakouts, which is never cute and never fun, and I just hate getting breakouts. So this has been a complete lifesaver this month. I just apply it directly to the pimple. I would apply it, you know, before bed, and when I would wake up, the pimple would be definitely diminished, and this was definitely a savior for me this month because my skin was just stressing out, and then I was stressing out because my skin was stressing out, and then it would just get more breakouts, and it was just kind of a bad cycle for a few weeks. But this has definitely helped my skin, and it's been a favorite of mine because I don't like having any type of breakouts because I did deal with a bad spell of acne a few years ago. So whenever I get one, I just freak out. So this has definitely been a favorite because it has helped take in out all the redness and it's just helped take away the actual pimple which is always fabulous so this has definitely been a favorite of mine this month the next product I have been loving this month is another skincare product, and it is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Brightening Cleanser. So this is a cleanser I got back in October, and it lasted me up until two weeks ago. Now, this cleanser is uh, pretty big, but it's not huge. For it to last me from October to the end of March, that is a lot of good, good product in here. And this is a little tip about me, a little tip, this is a little fact about me. I never rebuy cleansers. I don't know why. I just have this weird thing that I never rebuy facial cleansers. I always use one and use it all up and then I just buy a different one. I don't know why. I just never stick with one. So for me to stick with a cleanser for over six months is kind of crazy. I never stick with cleansers that long so this is definitely a love of mine. And it says on the back, Positively Radiant Brightening Cleanser with Moisture Rich Soy Extract helps improve skin tone, texture, and clarity to reveal brighter, more radiant skin. This cleanser lifts away dirt, oil, and makeup without over drying for naturally radiant skin, gentle enough for everyday use. This cleanser is so amazing. I cannot begin to explain to you guys. So even though I had kind of a spell with breakouts this month, and it wasn't even that bad, I'm over-exaggerating, it really wasn't that bad. But even though I had a few breakouts this month, I don't really break out anymore. Knock wood, I'm so happy about that. But I don't really break out anymore, so this cleanser is amazing for me. Because I do suffer with some acne scarring and some red spots, and this has definitely helped diminish them. Since October, my acne scarring, like on my cheeks, has went down so much, I can't even begin to tell you guys and I definitely think it is all from the help of this cleanser. The redness in my skin has just completely diminished and whenever I do get a breakout, this helps take out the redness. It just makes my skin so nice and so radiant and it just makes me look so fresh faced and I just really love this cleanser. Ever since using this, my skin has been less oily in the T-zone and I think it's because this cleanser does not have any acne medicine in it and it's not harsh so it doesn't strip my skin of any oils but it doesn't over moisturize it and over indulge it in moisturizer. It just cleans it. It does its job. It does what it's supposed to do and it has definitely helped with my acne scarring and for me to buy a cleanser twice is really rare. So this has definitely been a favorite of mine this month and for the past six months and when this one is empty I will probably end up repurchasing it again. It is just an amazing cleanser and I love it. The next product I have been loving this month is a hairspray and this is the Garnier Volumizing Anti-Humidity Hairspray. So it looks like this. I love the Garnier packaging. It always looks so sleek and nice and the lid is not here. I'm OCD crazy so it's making me OCD that the lid is not here and I'm showing it to you guys but I'm going to show it to you guys anyway even without the lid so I hope you guys can bear with me that I'm crazy like that. But I am obsessed with this hairspray. So whenever it rains or it gets humid or warm and sticky and humid where I live, my hair it frizzes up like a frizz ball. It does not stay straight, and it's weird because I don't have curly hair. I have wavy hair, but I don't have corkscrew curls, so you would think it would just stay straight with an iron. No, I can blow dry it and straighten it, and if it is hot or rainy, my hair will frizz up, and my little short pieces will get curly and layery, and I do not like it. So this hairspray has been helping that little problem quite a bit. If I just spray this on a brush or on the ends of my hair when it's a humid day or a rainy day, I have not had any frizzies, any problems with that, and this is amazing. I have been completely in love with this hairspray. And another really nice thing about this hairspray is if you spray it through your hair and brush it out, you're actually able to brush it out. This hairspray has amazing hold, but it doesn't make your hair hard or sticky or waxy or anything. The fact that you are able to spray this 
loose in your hair and then brush it out is amazing to me. It doesn't give you any tangles or keep it sticky or anything. So this hairspray is completely amazing for that purpose. And it's also just amazing for, you know, spraying down any flyaways or anything. I always, I have little cowlicks on the sides of my hair and this just really is really nice. It really sprays them down and keeps them in place and it doesn't make your hair look wet or anything. But since the weather where I live has gotten kind of warm in the past month, um, this has really been helping with those humid days. It's really been keeping my hair nice and keeping my style locked in place. So I have been loving this for this month. The next product I have been loving this month is something I feel like I'm kind of late to be adding in this favorites video because it came out quite a while ago. But it is da -da -da -da, the Naked Palette. So I got this back around Christmas. I actually got this for Christmas. So I have been using it for quite a while. But over the past few months, I went through a weird phase where I did not use eyeshadow one single day. I have a pretty basic make makeup routine even when I do use eyeshadow. All I do is do under eye concealer, Urban Decay Primer Potion, liquid eyeliner, black liquid eyeliner, mascara, blush, and my Urban Decay D Slick Powder. That's really all I do because I've been requested to do an everyday makeup tutorial, but that's really all I do. My makeup tutorial is super simple. So I went through this phase for the past few months where I didn't use any eyeshadow, but just recently in this month I have been reaching for my Urban Decay Naked Palette more than usual. So I, I don't know, always when the spring comes around it always makes me want to wear eyeshadows. I guess because it gets warm out and I just want to have that little glint of shimmer on my eye. I don't know. That's just how I am. Whenever it gets warm out, I just want to have little shimmeries on my eye and give me that sunny look. So I'm wearing this eyeshadow today. The color I'm wearing today is Sin, which is just this really nice pinky champagne-y color. I completely love it and I think it's super gorgeous. And the other color I really enjoy from this palette is Half Baked which is a really nice gold color. I think it is so gorgeous, and this is definitely a color I'll be wearing a lot this spring. I love wearing gold eyeshadows in the spring. I think it looks so pretty. So I've been loving those two colors. And another interesting fact about me is, unless I'm going out for a big event or uh, you know something really fancy and formal, I never wear two eyeshadows. I'm very simple with my makeup. I really am. With my everyday makeup, you will never see me with two eyeshadows. Like today, I only have Sin on my eyelids. I do not have any other color on. I don't know why. I just feel too made up if I wear too many eyes eyeshadows, but this palette has been great. It has totally all the eyeshadows you need for a neutral eye for every day, and I've been loving those two colors and all of the colors in here. They're all great, so I've been reaching for this a lot this month, and I have been loving it. So now we are on to my last favorite product, which is basically one product, but I have two scents of it, which totally gives away what I'm going to be showing you guys. But this month, I have been loving two new fragrances, and they are both by Victoria's Secret. And they are just their little fragrance mists, and it just so happens that the two I've been loving are both pink. So the first one I have been using a ton this month is Victoria's Secret Sheer Love. And the second one I have been using a ton this month is the Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction Fragrance. So these are just little fragrances that I got from my friend for Christmas. And these two scents just smell like springtime to me. They smell so good. Um, the Sheer Love one is White Cotton and Pink Lily. And it says on the back, Fall in Sheer Love. Bright and cheerful, white, fresh, white cotton, and luminous pink lily. So this smells so nice and just so fresh and bright, and it just gives you that little jolt of spring, and I think it just smells so nice. What I actually think this one smells like, it kind of smells like a mixture of DKNY Be Delicious and Viva La Juicy. That might just be what I think it kind of smells like. It probably doesn't really smell like that, but that's just the feeling I get when I smell this. It just smells so nice and warm and like springtime, and like I just love the smell of this. I think it smells really nice. And then the next one I have been using a lot, like I said, is the Pure Seduction Fragrance. And this is Red Plum and Freja. And it says on the back, Entice in, in Pure Seduction, a passionate romance of succulent red plum and sweet Freja. Freza, Freesia, I'm not really sure. I know it's a flower though. So this smells really good as well. It just smells like a little flower and it really has like a, it says seduction, which is true. It has like a little like sensual smell to it. You know how perfumes can have that sensual smell? It definitely has that. It just smells so succulent and juicy and like a beautiful flower and like you smell like a little flower. I don't know. So the two of these, not together but separately, have been definitely my fragrances for the past month. I've been wearing them a ton and I think they just smell really nice and I think they're really nice spring fragrances. So I have been loving, loving these two fragrances. I actually do have one last favorite but it is not a beauty product. This is actually an animal product and it has been my new dog Lulu. I know you guys met her um, in one of my videos. It was in the one where I did my uh, ballerina 
top knot. You guys got to meet her. And I would show you guys her right now, but she is off playing downstairs, so I do not have her with me currently. But she has definitely been another favorite of mine. Having another dog in the house has been so great. She is such a little lover, and I could not ask for a better dog. She is so fun, and I just have loved having her. We got her um, at the very end of February, maybe in the beginning of March. I don't know. We've had her for a few weeks now, though, and I just love having her, and she's been a great addition to our family. So she has definitely been a favorite of mine. Okay, guys, so that was all my favorites for the month of March. March was a great month, but I cannot wait to move on to the next month, so the next few months. I'm really excited for the end of the year and summer and stuff, but March was definitely a great month. I found a ton of amazing beauty products, and I got my new dog, and she is amazing too. So if you guys have filmed a March favorites video, or you want to, definitely leave it as a video response, or if you don't feel like filming a video, just type up your favorites in the comments below. But yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely leave your March favorites as a video response or in the comments comments below and also leave any spring videos or any videos you want to see in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye guys!